Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Today I got a Samsung board here. This one is uh, the power jack is actually uh, broken on this one. It's like missing out, missing the totally inside or whatever. So what I'm gonna do is uh, replace it. So I'm gonna add some flux. I'm gonna add solder to both these sides here. But first, let's just take the seat sink off and tape off the area real quick. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? Love easy repairs like this. Working on any iPhones lately or? Pretty crazy if you guys know, uh, they actually came out with the machine now to actually program the new iPhone screens. The iPhone 10 and the 8. And actually, uh, and uh, marrying the sensors too. So basically, it's just a copy, read, and write type thing. Yeah, vacation. That sounds like fun. I'll be doing that shortly myself. But yeah, what I was saying about the screen, so able to actually use third party screens or another screen from another phone now, which is crazy. No, they're not, they're not still practicing it. You could actually order their machine now. Interesting, if you ask me. I mean, the stuff shouldn't be that way in the first place. Yeah, I was thinking, mate, I'm just going to hold off and see if uh, they come out with something for my programmer machine, which I would imagine they would. Because I, I looked at it, it has the same uh, chipset and stuff like that. Uh, no, I haven't ordered one. You, you got to basically sign in and uh, I guess get a price. I don't even know the price of it, to tell you the truth. I haven't had time. Are uh, you been told to wait? What wait for something else to come out or? Oh really? They're not even shipping. Yeah, it was. If you want to look at the source where it was, it was from uh, Renewal uh, Renewal Technologies. They featured a video on that. So if you go ahead and check out check out the YouTube video, and they have a link in there that you can try to order it. But 
I'm kind of curious to see how much it is. Is it a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, or is it, you know, a thousand, two thousand, what? It's a matter of time. I was thinking about trying to uh, read the actual chip on there, but it's a lot of time doing that stuff. <laughs> Is it 180, what, the one from Renewal Technologies? The one I'm talking about? Alright, got this all taped off. Add some flux here. Yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, so it's one eighty. It ain't a bad price. Should be able to do it anyways without it, but Yeah, I'll have to check it out. I haven't even looked anywhere else for it. Do you know the uh, the call uh, the name of the machine actually? Yeah, if you know of a good seller that you mess with or anything like that, you know, feel free to send me the link. I'll check it out.
Uh, I'm located. Uh, <clears throat> do you know where they're building the Foxconn plant? Big news. Uh, the president's going to be actually visiting here tomorrow. And uh, we're going to be doing bre uh, breaking ground this week, or actually tomorrow. Which I don't know if he's coming here to actually do a shovel, scoop some dirt. Uh, yeah, it's uh, basically Racine, uh, Racine, Wisconsin. So if you check out Racine, Wisconsin, you can Google that. It's basically uh, two cities north of Chicago. And I don't know if it's going to be a good thing or not. I've been getting some type of footage and stuff like that. I plan on doing a video of it. I just really haven't had time. But it could be a bad thing. I don't know. Now they were talking about they're going to be using a lot of water and recycling the water back. But now they're not going to with fights of uh, Chicago. So who knows if it's going to be a good thing or a bad thing, but uh, now if you uh, you guys can Google, it was in the news article today in uh, 9 to 5 News, Mac, they re uh, released the article, you know, but it's going to cost us a lot of money and it's tech, you know, the taxpayers are going to be paying the rest of this. They're supposed to fork out. I mean, this is going to be uh, billions of dollars. <laughs> no, it's a uh, right on Lake Michigan. So, but yeah, basically they're gonna be forking out all this stuff. So I think the, a lot of the money is gonna come from the taxpayers, unfortunately, and uh, they're not holding their end of the bargain so far. But they're destroying like lots of houses too, just p taking people's houses, and they're having no choice. And if you look at the farm fields and stuff that they have in there, it's pretty nice. And you know, like all the other uh, farm areas right now, by there, one's already been taken, and there's a plant built there, so. Yeah, I've replaced a lot of these ports, but sometimes they come out easy, sometimes they don't. You know, especially if somebody was hard on it. 
for example, like this one. missing everything out of it so this person was pretty rough yeah if I went there and I you know heated a little slower and stuff like that but you don't really want to do that because the board has tendency to warp I just choose to blast it with a lot of heat. Yes, it is. Have you? Uh, I've done a couple so far, but some in some phones too. That's always fun. Red pads is what really sucks is the iPhones. Yeah, that's why I don't I don't flick things off boards and stuff like that because it has a tendency to sometimes cause you more trouble. All right, so we got all those. They're all clean.
and just clean it up a little bit. <laughs> Flooded again. <laughs> yeah. Now I think I'm, at some point I'm gonna get one of the JVC solder, solder sucker thing, majiggies, whatever you call them, desoldering guns. For like big jobs like that, it really don't do except like TV boards, you know. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> so we're just gonna put it in there. Sure, it sits flat. Pop it in there. You can just tack the top part. The front and the back here. Oh, but forget with these new these new uh, ports. Good idea is take a file. File the edges because if you look, you know, it's made out of a crappy metal. And this just, just goes for like the HDMI ports too, stuff like that. But see how it's really shiny. So, what you're going to do is want to take that, some of that uh, chrome off of there. Just make it easier for the solder to grab it. Sorry with TV and video. Yeah, you just tack them. Well, I'm just going to solder them in there, but it's just good to get these side pins. Everything is going to be soldered on. you want to be really nice and careful with.
flip it over and take all the, of the other side. Alright, so I'm just going to take these other sides too. Clean it up, plug it in, see if we get fan spin. Hey, how's it going, Alex? So I can remove all this tape. We're just going to clean it up so it looks nice and pretty. Yeah, what you're going to be specializing in repairing? You say you're going to open a new uh, retail location? Yeah, opening stuff, you know, you just got to watch your overhead. <coughs> Grab the power adapter in here for it. Here. 
I have another laptop I had to do with the i7. Uh, it's got an actual video card issue with that one, or video chip. So we have to put the heat sink on it first with some new thermal paste. You know, I see some people that will power up laptops without the CPU. You try doing that to an AMD, you'll sit there and fry it. Oh, tacos? Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. That's all I eat is basically Mexican food or tacos. <coughs> cook them all the time. Yeah, I just cooked a, actually an Italian dish last week. Takes like all day to cook. But you can't go wrong with tacos with anything. Let me see. I get some thermal paste here. It's always good to read the one, the two, and the three, and the four. I can get it in here. Hey, what's up, Joshua? How's it going? Long time no see. <laughs> or here. <laughs> Sneaky stalker. <laughs> Alright, so now we can power this up. Plug some power in here.
the customer didn't fry anything else, so let's fry it. Should be the power button here. There we go. We got a light. And we got fan spin. But it probably shut off because it ain't up to temperature. But we do have light there, so it's operating. Don't you just love to have the fan spin? Fan spin! Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, I got another. I got another one here. I got to do this i7. I got a few. Uh, a lot of, a lot of to do with motherboard related, laptop related. So, got one that has a. Uh, probably gonna be the GPU reflow or something like that, or CPU pocket. Most likely. <laughs> That's funny, Joshua. And I got a PlayStation, I believe, I'm going to do next here. PlayStation 4. I like doing the game consoles. Seem to be easier. <laughs> Somebody must have had a field day with this one. It's actually cracked. Must have dropped it or something. I mean, it's totally. It's a smoker machine, too. Let's see, rolling up. I'll see how dirty that is. So this is probably somebody slammed or another girlfriend getting mad at their boyfriend or something playing video games. Or kids not uh, listening to their moms. I'm going to plug it in and see what... I think the... let me get the form. I think it was no video. Should be description. Somebody got mad and broke their game console. This thing is cracked under and on the other side too. It's crazy. Let's see if we get anything. Well, it turns on. Let's see if we get a picture. Oh, you mean for the, are you talking about the cover, are you talking about the i7? Oh, you're looking at a PlayStation 4 here. And we get no video, so. What do you think it is? HDMI port? Let's try to wave on the HDMI port around on boot up. Wow, 
don't know what the heck this thing's doing. There we go. What do you mean about noisy here? HDMI or controller then? Uh, it doesn't look like the HDMI port is damaged, but I mean if you look at it, this thing is broken all around. It's cracked here. So it had a pretty nice fall. Thanks, stinks. Alright, so the other screws are out of it. Put this stuff back in. Dang! This stuff is nasty. Big smoker. Oh, that is nasty. back into this one.
Hopefully I'm gonna mute this so you guys don't hear this vacuum, but uh Hopefully I remember to unmute it, but Yeah, of course he lost, lost sound. I had to mute it. <laughs> I doubt you want to listen to that. I mean, there's plastic pieces coming out of there. I mean, this is nasty. I don't, I mean, I've seen them bad like this, but this is pretty, pretty nasty. I don't know if it's a good idea to vacuum hard drives, but... You must have used this uh, PlayStation 4 for a vacuum cleaner. I think that's what they were doing with it, to tell you the truth. Disconnect the fan there. Take all these little stupid security bits out. I guess they used it as an air filter too. I mean, you can tell this is smoke damage. You definitely, game consoles, you definitely want to use gloves. So, we got the one annoying, or we got actually two of the ground, ground screws in this one. Sometimes you don't even have them in there. Let's see how this other side, I'm curious to see how the fan looks. I mean, nasty. Oh, God. That is pure nastiness. Eh, there are some dirty people, I guess. Oh my god. This is horrible. I wonder what the fan's gonna look like. Blocking the air. <laughs> I almost just refused to work on this thing. If I definitely would have seen a sign of a crit, crit or something, I mean, I don't know. Might not be fixable. I mean, if it's just a reflow, but. 
uh, you can see the antenna jack over here is all whacked out of place. So I just want to have a look at the HDMI port. I might not even refill this. It depends because if the board is nasty, I'm not going to do it. So yeah, it's a smoker for you. We got that. I'm gonna just vacuum up this a little bit here, so this dust ain't coming around.
Oh, thanks for reminding me. Sorry, I forgot to unreview it. All right, so what I was saying, because <laughs> you couldn't hear me with the mute, but I was going to leave it up to the audience, whoever's watching. Should I reflow this or not? The HDMI port is not damaged from what I see. So either from it being smashed or dropped or I would imagine overheating because it had no vents going on the side here. You know, so possibly they it, it's been damaged before and it was working, and just because of the you know the fan and these side vents were all clogged, there's no way for the machine to to vent proper, which would cause this, uh, APU to overheat. So I'm gonna leave it up to the audience. Should I go ahead and reflow this, or should I just put it back together as a no fix, no fee? Yeah, probably a new uh, APU. No, I don't think it's... A, usually with the case of these, uh, it's actually the solder balls come detached from underneath the chip, believe it or not. Yeah, but sometimes if the reflows don't take, then they need the reball, which I'm definitely not going to do a reball. <coughs> Unless it was somebody's data, they wanted their data off the, the PlayStation 4, you know, it's not worth it. So, let's remove these pads over here. I'm going to have to fire up old Betsy, refloor. Give this a nice vacuum.
help if you don't have stuff stacked on top of your machine. Alright, we're going to put some liquid flux. Put some more pieces over here. There's some little small resistors right here. Down and dirty, man. Holy cow, look at this table. <laughs> uh, I don't even have a Wagner. I had someone that was gonna give me one, but uh, yeah, I gotta heat up the Wagner. So I'm just soaking it. So basically it was just right there I just blew up on or blew air underneath the, the chip. same company that makes the spark plugs and stuff for cars. Alright, so throw this on the machine. Which I don't have camera for a set up for that, unfortunately. set up the machine because I used it off for the MacBooks for the PlayStation. I don't know. They haven't been having an issue. They must have that must have been the first uh, systems that came out. They changed the nozzle. Select the PlayStation profile. Your data 
this I am going to do a pre-warm on this just to get any humidity that's out of here because there has been a lot of rain and the humidity levels are just barely on the line so I'm going to pre pre-warm this one. Move the camera. <laughs> no, I don't have. Uh, honestly, I would have a camera set up there, but my computer cannot even handle more USB cameras. It's maxed out. The bandwidth of the is using all the. Basically, this uh, crappy microscope camera here. That have. I don't know. I've had it for like years. Probably like eight years now. Nine years. And uh, it's finally, it, I mean, it uses, basically I put a long extension wire on it, so basically it uses like 45% of my bandwidth. Get Coca-Cola. All right, so that's pretty warm. It's gonna take a couple minutes. So, uh, Robert, do you uh, do you work on the PlayStation 4 a lot, or what? What do you do? What are you gonna be planning on doing for all your repairs for your? You don't mind me asking. It's gonna make it really hot up in here. I'm gonna turn the AC on after this. Tablets. through the repo stage. Yeah, consoles, uh, you know, the Xboxes really, you don't see those really too much broken down anymore, which is pretty crazy from what they used to be, but them selling defective consoles back in the 360, but as far as right now, like, it's mainly PlayStation 4s, you know, the HDMI ports are really famous for that because of the design of the slope in the back of the game console. Especially if you have, uh, you know, like there's basically families that are separated and they move, they go from 
one house to another, you know, mom and dad. And you'll see a lot of people, you know, damage the HDMI port due to disconnection, disconnecting the game console and bringing it to their mom or their dad's house. I see that a lot, but game consoles are, I don't know, they're easy and fun to do, but, you know, you get the actual, uh, where they keep designing all these different models, and they go to a slim board, and even a slim, like, even they have, like, boards half the size of this one. But yeah, well that's well that's going or whatever. But yeah, basically, Foxconn they're building a big plant here. I just want to kind of go over that a little bit. Uh, I am going to be uploading some videos on, about it. And they had a prolonged uh, building of laying the ground down for it and stuff like that because of we had big time rainstorms here and. Once again, yesterday we had a lot of rain all day, so I don't know if they're going to postpone it, but yeah, like Trump is coming to town tomorrow. Uh, Walker is going to be here, and I have no idea what they're going to be doing, but especially coming to celebrate the building of it, but you know, it's going to be a $3 billion company. And it's supposed to be, you know, some of the money is supposed to be being forked up by the other players, but... Uh, wonder if I could pull it up here just a little bit and go over it with you guys. I'll probably just go over with another video of that, just basically going over maps of what they're going to be tearing down, but uh, I don't have it set up right now for that, but basically they're tearing some pretty nice houses and farmland up just to build this factory. Nobody really wanted it here. You know, they say, they say it's basically the tax breaks that they're getting to build this Foxconn factory that, you know, supplies Apple, Apple components and stuff like that. Basically, they're going to be running an LCD manufacturing company here. And they're going to be building, supposedly they're going to build like TV panels and stuff like that. But it changed to smaller components like iPads and iPhones and stuff like that. It would be actually nice if we could go there or actually purchase purchase these uh, items from the factory directly that they're going to be manufacturing here, especially here in Racine, Wisconsin. And them giving them tax breaks to actually you know, deal with giving them actual tax breaks, it's basically not going to pay for itself for 2045, well, 2045. And what is that company going to be then at that time? Is it still going to be there? Probably not. And right now, if you, if you go check out iClarify, uh, this form they just posted on today about, uh, you know, where's all the other money coming from, and, you know, I don't know where it's going to come from, but it's going to come from our taxpayers, just like they did a stadium tax on uh, the Milwaukee Brewer Stadium, you know, they, they taxed everybody for that, and we're still paying for it, and it was supposed to be over with, so I don't know how this deal is going to go along, but, I mean, for as a repair committee and stuff like that, you know, 
we should be able to buy these, especially if they're going to be manufacturing here in my hometown and parts like that. I guarantee you we're probably still not going to be able to have access unless the right to repair bill passes. Which I do, I got one of my uh, a friend of mine, he's running for a senator right now and he's on board for that. You guys get a chance to check him out. His name's uh, Kenny Oregon for Congress. But, uh, yeah, hopefully he'll win. But, like, the water that they're going to be taking from the whole city of Racine is what we all use as a whole city in one day. They're going to be using it in one day. And they were going to recycle the water back to Lake Michigan, but now they, they brought up a lot of stink and they're not doing it. So, just to go ahead and pollute our water, too. Yeah, that's what I that's what I'm worried about the alright, so I can stop this, this is reflowed. Let that cool. But yeah, I am more concerned about the, the wastewater. And it, and that's one of the concerns now that uh, Chicago and some other cities are basically raising a stink about it and their runoff water too also into the rivers so if they did do that you know what kind of chemicals are they going to be using to manufacture these screens and they were going to put back into you know Lake Michigan now they're not going to put it back supposedly so we really don't know what's really going to happen but you know the water issue and you know taking people's homes that you know would have never thought or even though that people are across the street from this factory you know they had farm fields to look at before now they're going to have a big factory to look at in front of their house i mean it's good it's going to bring jobs but you know they're going to source out a lot of those jobs too you know it's a lot of people ain't experienced in that type of work you know for right now but yeah, and if you guys, you know, people that are watching this video later later on, you know, feel free to leave comments in the description, or not description, but in the comments, and uh, tell me what you think about it. Now, this is a really big, big company and a big thing being planned and built here by Trump for bringing jobs back and stuff, but as the now... They only came up with so much money, and there's a lot more money for them to come up with, and they're not forking it out. So, who's going to really pay for it? That's the question. Oh, they're building, they're building actually, you know, be worried about the extra. Uh, they're building actually three factories that are going to be on this big, big lot that they're buying. So it's going to be three different companies. There will be one that's supposed to be a $10 billion company, and there's other ones, two other, you know, side by side. And there's also going to be... Uh, one city north of Racine, which is Milwaukee, Wisconsin, they're going to be, they're already starting to build uh, uh, the Foxconn office, basically, so the headquarters, so they're going to have the headquarters in Milwaukee.
Yeah, Dirty Money. Yeah, it's... There's other projects that are going on, too, here in Racine. There's a lot of other factories that have been popping up here. And, you know, mainly they want the, the water source. Yeah, I'll check out that Dirty Money series. visit Wisconsin Lake Michigan yeah I mean Racine's got one of the nicest uh, lake fronts uh, more or less than versus the city of Kenosha and Milwaukee you know we got a really nice beach and stuff like that I'm gonna have to post some videos and stuff I plan on doing it this is hard when you're busy and you gotta do try doing some filming yeah swimming I go swimming in there. I haven't went swimming in there. Definitely after you get out of there, you want to take a shower. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know. Hopefully they don't damage our water and stuff like that. And actually creates jobs. You know, I know property taxes are going to go up big time because of the Foxconn being built here. But, you know, main concern is water. If we're going to be paying for it for taxes. Other thing is too. Uh, are we going to have access to these parts? It's kind of like. You know since they're being manufactured here in the U.S. Which I doubt it. Well, that's the thing, yeah, who wants to really work there, you know, they're talking about it's supposed to be $15 hour jobs or something like that, that's really not that much money. <laughs> I'd rather be unemployed, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, I hear you on that. Especially if you worked in one of those, that factory, you know, you've seen some of the, the videos over there. All you would hear, okay, 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 good, good, good. <laughs> you know, when they're testing parts and components and, you know, so I think this is going to lead, uh, basically what's going to, I think is going to happen here in Racine. This, if this factory does get, it's getting built, you know, they're already laying the ground for it and stuff like that. They're tearing houses down. But when that starts getting built here and that's up and running, I think other tech companies for high tech tech companies are going to come here to racing and it's supposedly going to be a tech industry here in racing Wisconsin. And we're going to be kind of like the second biggest tech company area, basically like Silicon Valley in a sense almost, just to kind of give you an example. So we gotta let this cool down, get back to the board here on this one, but we're gonna let this cool down a little bit. Canada, Silicon Valley. Yeah, it might happen, but uh, it, that's what that sounds like, you know. And I imagine if, you know, they give more tax breaks to this company. I mean, I really don't know all the numbers. Uh, I know friends of mine do, but it's billions of dollars that they're getting in tax breaks. Millions and millions. Uh, I have the for a hot air station, the Zamoto. That's what I have. It's basically like Lewis's 
station that he has but without the, the placement of the chip it doesn't align the chip which I had no problem aligning the chips once in a great great while you will especially on the, the MacBooks you could have problems with aligning the chips because they have no printed out area so it's a good idea to either mark the chip before you take it off but then that's kind of hard to do best thing is to if you don't get it too dirty you can place tape along the side of the edges yeah mark the boards yeah you have to but I mean basically really you don't really use the machine only for like you know issues for changing BGA chips or you know I like to use them for taking off the HDMI ports too they just come off easy and then you just vacuum up the pockets So this probably needs like another minute, two minutes to cool down. I can pull it off the machine. And usually I'll get like five or uh, Yeah, I don't know. They probably don't sell this model anymore. They probably sell one close enough to it. Let's see if I can link it. Oh, that's cooling down. Yeah, I'm looking right now. Uh... Wow, oh, this thing dropped on price big time. Eight gigs, holy cow. Alright, so <laughs> Yeah, that dropped. I mean I I think I remembered uh yeah, no problem. But yeah, I think I paid like forty eight or something for it or forty two, I can't remember. But yeah, good machine. Never had no issues with it. I've seen some people uh, just 
you know get one with the good seller rating and stuff like that too uh, but I had a uh, another store that I know they had one and they ended up uh, they were frying video chips and frying components with it <clears throat> and I seen it firsthand so Alright, so I take this board off now, put this back together and test it. If it does need a reball, then it could sit there and uh, go in the pile of reball day. I'll put some gloves on, touching this thing. Yeah, 42. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's what I basically, something like that I paid for. I can't remember. But, like, when I, you know, so, like, the placement of chips and stuff, I'll sit there and just, you know, place them on there. And usually, I usually always go with my first instinct when I, when I place it down there. And I think it's right, it's right. I just go with it. So let's clean a little of this up here. take it back apart and put it back in there that sucks <laughs> uh, yeah it's a big investment but I mean the machine more than paid for itself And that's the same brand name that, uh, you know, Lewis has, I believe. He just has the high-tech camera system that he paid probably like $9,000, $8,000 for, which is a lot of money. your thoughts you think this board's gonna work anybody it's going to work I don't know this one's iffy because of the damage it had and I think it's just overheated but it should work I have to mute it here hopefully I remember to unmute it
<laughs> the sexy vacuum sounds, yeah. You don't want to hear that. Man, this thing is just filthy. <laughs> No, oh, and then I got another reflow to do the video. The actual uh, video chip on a laptop. So I guess it's going to be a reflow day today. to break free of what <laughs> good enough for the girls I go with it good enough for me so let's put this back together put our little heat sinks back here well what's left of them that one looks pretty smashed out Put some thermal paste. Uh, thermal paste I use this is uh, the best thermal paste I think on the market <clears throat> I went on it there, there's a if you go back into some of my videos I got a video on the thermal paste and actual name of everything of it too did it not too long ago but it's it's what Arctic silver used to be that's put it that way but you can check out the video what's in there I go about like three different brands oh you are so this thing is just filthy
put the heat sink back on. that for it to boot up. We'll test this. If it does work then I could just I could throw the, the plastic case in an actual sink wash that thing. Now I'll go back and take take the fan apart. Replace the fan with another fan. I'm not going to clean that thing. too. Use that in la laptops mainly. Alright, so let's get two grounding screws in here. get no video. Yeah, it turns on, but we just get no video. <clears throat> Same thing. So it's going to need a reball. I'll probably do this in a video, separate video, because I'm not doing it now. Let's try it, reset that here. Yeah, it's gonna. I seen some of the pads when I was looking at when I had it on the the machine. I see in the corner balls. There's usually three corner balls that do not connect, and I see in the balls look a little funny on the side there. The three balls. I've only I think two of the balls look funny out of the three, usually on that corner. So, and I see in it and that kind of you know gave me a little idea that it's probably going to need a reball because 
when you usually see that it means the solder ball the solder is not touching the, the top of the chip and that's what it looked like at the corner so yeah definitely this is going to need a reball let's just try turning it on one more time yeah i want to see yeah i would have to have a camera set up on the machine and I don't know the my uh, microscope won't go that high to be able to see the view the board at an angle. I'd have to move it. But you could mainly you can only see those balls like that when it's you'll see the ball just sitting there and not touching the top of the chip. And it looked like it was barely touching it, so the, probably the other one behind it wasn't at all. <laughs> yeah, so. This is going to need a reball. I will do a video on this, but I was going to have to wait for a reball day. I'll do a. Uh, have to clean this area up and stuff, and then I got a. A Samsung. I believe it's a Samsung. I don't know what it is. Reball Thursdays, yeah. I might, I might make a Reball Thursdays. I recently did like a. Usually, I'll get all the, the MacBooks together and stuff like that, and I'll reball those all at once. So this is a pretty big beast. I'm gonna do this next. i7 look at that fan dude on that thing i don't think i've seen a fan that big a laptop toshiba i7 that's what laptops should have is a fan <clears throat> Yeah, so this doesn't have the designated video graphics chip. This one has the uh, built into the i7, just using the graphics software of there, which probably the pocket, the socket. We'll have to test to see if it has power on the GPU. But yeah, it'll be another video I'm gonna come up with. But I got a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> Taco Tuesdays, yeah. I'm gonna have to go get some tacos now. But yeah, maybe uh, tomorrow I'll possibly uh, do the reball on that one or whatever. But I appreciate you guys uh, watching or whatever. If you guys get a chance, you ain't subscribed already, subscribe. And if you give this a thumbs up, appreciate it. And thanks for watching.